this interior scene is running in real time using Eevee. Isn't it that great? It looks very similar to Unreal Engine, but it's much easier to set up. And actually, it looks very similar to Cycles. I will show you how to set up Eevee to achieve these results. I won't focus on modeling and texturing. You can check my other videos for that. I will be using this interior scene I created a while ago. If you want to try it yourself, you can support me on Patreon and download it. This is the default lighting when you create a new file. I will select my camera. First, you will want to go to Preferences, System and make sure to have Vulkan selected, because ED is much more optimized for it. You will need to restart Blender after that. The way to light an interior using EV is by using area lights on the windows. I will copy this one over to the other window and increase the intensity. These are simulating the atmospheric lighting. Now I want to add a sun for some direct lighting. I will play around with the position of the sun, make it a little bit warmer and increase the intensity. I will also increase the angle to make the light more diffuse. Let's set up EV. I will increase the viewport samples and then turn on ray tracing. This is where the magic starts. Let's set a resolution to 1 to 1. That's one ray per pixel. Keep in mind that all the settings we increase from now on will improve quality in exchange for longer render times. In FastGI, also change the resolution to 1 to 1. Increase the steps, that's like increasing the samples. We can also increase the steps of the shadows, but it doesn't enhance the image that much and is quite expensive to use, so I don't recommend it. Anyway, we have enhanced the lighting a lot. This is looking really good, but there is one more trick that will make a whole difference. Let's add light probes. This little thing calculates the lighting in each of those tiny dots. It works by capturing the existing indirect lighting and applying it to the scene. Each dot acts like a kind of emissive HDR. You can increase the number of capturing dots here. It really depends on the complexity of your scene. For this one, 8 is enough. You will want to make sure all the dots are inside your interior. Just escape the volume to achieve that. Once you're done, click Bake Light Cache. Now you can see how much the indirect lighting of our interior has been enhanced. If you are enjoying this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more content like this. I really appreciate your support. We can try increasing this to 16. This is the amount of samples we take in the scene. And surface resolution will increase the quality of those samples. If you set this to zero, the light probes will be off. The secret behind using light probes is to artificially increase the indirect lighting by boosting their intensity. A bit of troubleshooting. This area is very dark, it doesn't look right. If you play around with the distance value, you can change how bounces affect the surfaces. Now, in this corner, we have a very strong dark gap but this won't be fixed with the distance. This look like a problem with the light props, specifically the position of the dots. Some of them are inside or behind the curtain. Let's turn this back to 8 again. All dots positions look good now. Hit bake and see how that black gap looks more soft and realistic. There is another thing worth mentioning. On these edges, you might experience light leaks. I'm not, because my walls have two faces. If I turn off Solidify, you can see how the light leaks when you only have one surface instead of two. So, always keep your interior inside another box. This is looking great, let's compare it to Cycles. I will set up this to make it faster and the result is quite amazing. This wasn't possible before the new EV. We can move inside our interior in real time with a quality almost equal to cycles. This is great for animation.
let's add something bright for the sky. I have used this technique in many of my tutorials. Now let's go to the compositor. Hit New. With Shift A, let's add a clear node. Don't forget to set the compositor to Always. This glare looks nice. Now let's move the camera and create an interesting shot. I will fix the clip in here and add depth of field for more realism. Decrease the f-top to increase the out of focus effect. I feel the image is a bit too bright, so instead of editing all the lights, I will just go to exposure and decrease it a little bit. That's perfect. Let's compare again with cycles. The only difference I see is on the window frames. We could use distance to modify that, but this is of course a trade-off of Eevee. We are working in real time and this quality is more than enough. Let's increase the samples for the rendering. And that's it, we have a 2K render in 6 seconds. I will just make some camera raw edits to finalize the image. It really looks like cycles. What do you think of the quality we can achieve using Eevee? Would you be interested in a video about rendering animations in Eevee? Go check out my other videos on creating the scenes with cycles. Thanks for watching.